Hey people, welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Today I'm going to be working on the front end of Sam, so stick around, stay tuned, should be a cool episode. Today is Sam Day, so I'm going to go through a couple different tips and techniques on sanding and where not to sand. To sand or to not to sand, that is the question. Yes. Anyway, uh, let me get started on that. I'll move it out here to a better spot and then I'll start working on it. What I'm doing, I'm starting out with some 220 grit. I've got different pieces of foam out here that I can wrap the sandpaper around or a block because I do not want to use just my hand and get finger waves in the primer in between your digits. You know, it'll leave these bumps and after you put the paint on it, you're going to see that. So you want to keep it as level as possible when you're sanding. You never ever want to sand on an edge. If it helps you take a piece of masking tape and lay it down on the edge and sand right to it but never over it. It's really easy to remove paint off the sides. It just grabs a hold with the sandpaper and bang you got clean metal again. So don't sand there. Sand everywhere else but the edges. I got the sanding all done. Sam's face is way down over there. Joe came home while I was painting some primer on it over here. He's all, dude, you're getting overspray on the house. <laughs> so while it was wet, I had to move it all the way down there, which it's better. I'm not getting overspray on anything but the trees and the dirt and the frogs. Got a little bit of a wind, as you can see, by old glory flapping up there on the breeze. But I got it faced towards where I want to shoot it, which is on the front. I'm going to shoot the back too, but I'm not really tripping about how much paint gets on me from the back. I want to get it on the front good, so I'm going with the wind. And when you got to paint outside, you got to do what you got to do, baby. We're upside down, so don't trip. I noticed yesterday while I was painting this, I got a little overzealous in some of my grinding and some of it came away. So I gotta strip this down and just bead that up again, grind it and then repaint it. Blah, just another thing to redo. <laughs> All right, man. Couldn't really show you what I was doing, but there's a weld on there. I filed it down and I already painted it. Now it's all buff again, so woohoo. Now it's finally done. Done, 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 done. Now I can work on this other piece that goes from here across. It mounts to the front of the body. It's kind of warpled. See, it really shows up when you shine it in the light. See that bend? There's a rip right here, and this is kind of warped out, so when it's getting uh, tightened down, it's like bending, so I'm gonna reinforce the backside, weld that up, put it back in, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Dude, reinforcement big time. I gotta let that cool. You know, here's another tip too. Sometimes you'll go and run and douche these in water, psh, cooling down. If you want your weld to be 100% complete, let it cool at its own pace. When you put water on it, psh, you know, it kind of makes it brittle. This way it gives it time to relax into itself. So I'm gonna let that chill for a second and I'll be right back. There's the spot. It's all fixed, twisting in the wind. Got a coat of paint on it. I shot the whole thing, just gonna let it dry. It's kind of what I'm waiting on everything. Ooh, there's a spot back there. I'm gonna have to shoot it again. That's probably gonna do it for today's episode, people. I gotta let stuff dry. Here pretty soon I'm gonna go through uh, some of the electrical stuff since it's all starting to come together and I'm gonna start running lines, fuse boxes, all that other junk. So uh, until the next episode, thanks for watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod.